this day and age, technology is the way to go. And so for our children here in Aguna West to go through this ICT training is a very um, laudable initiative that our children at this age, you could see what they did in there. They are dressed with a computer already. And so now for the things that are going to be in thought, I, I realize that even me, you know, coding and things, I, I am not abreast, but these children are so vested. And so we are privileged that this training will enhance whatever they are doing. They are going to be the pioneers, the role models that we are going to use in the constituency to affect the other children in the smaller communities. So these are our pioneers and we are going to watch them closely and make sure that we get the best out of them. Okay, there is no doubt about the importance of this IT uh, or digitalization in our face of our lives. We, we all know what is happening. Digitalization is bringing the world to our doorsteps and it's getting everybody closer and closer and knowledge is being abound. Knowledge is being really available to us in a given. And therefore, it is incumbent upon us to accept what is happening in the global um, existence. And therefore, uh, I'm totally and fully you know, embracing this idea of digitalization. Where the world has gone to, the fourth industrial revolution is with us. And it is very important that as a people, we use, we take advantage of the fourth industrial revolution to be able to leapfrog the developmental gap that currently exists. And to be able to do that, we need to be giving our young ones the opportunity, not just to be consumers, of technology, of ICT technology, but they need to also start participating and contributing to the development of ICT. We have over 162 basic schools, both public and private. And looking at the number here, the public schools here are only uh, 31. And then nine private schools. So you can see that a lot of the schools are out there. We straight through now, we use ICT positively. And so these children are going to do the same. We know that today we don't even need to go to the market to buy. You can sit in your room and shop and do everything. The little businesses that they do, we teach our children how to even thread beads and all that. You can even thread a bead, put it on the internet, and somebody will locate you and buy it. So we are going to teach the children how to do all these things, animation and all that. They can be in their room and then create a cartoon. By the time you realize it's on the international level. And so we are teaching them positively already, as you know. And I believe that it's going to help their parents even also at home. Today I took the kids through Scratch. It's one of the programming um, platforms that IIPGH teaches and I took them through some of the basics in Scratch. Most of the students seemed interested, they were intrigued by the new experience. Some of them enjoyed the experience, some of them wanted to learn more. Overall it was a really nice experience. Um, uh, the kids response was also good. Everyone seemed interested in what was going on. Their attention was also there, so it made everything go smoothly. My observation is that you could see that a lot of them were eager to answer questions. When questions are asked, you see a lot of hands up and everybody is busily what, listening to the instructions given by their instructors. Another thing that is worth mentioning of today is that the MP for the constituency is also interested in sourcing, uh, you know, about 10 or 20 computers, which would be put into a mobile clinic and then maybe recruit some five national service people. And these teachers who have been taught today, they also can be facilitated so that now they can move into various communities. So when they move into the community, any teacher who was trained from here who is in that community then can come join the national service people and then the students. That's also another sweet thing because the children would be able to teach their colleagues better than you and I would be able to do. The children would also come in and then support it. So it is important that uh, the Ghana Chamber of Te uh, Telecommunication, IPPGH, has started this. But we get, if we could get some, uh, you know, businesses in this locality, come together and say, how do we support the MP in ensuring that we can start these local clinics so that after we've done this training here, it does not end there,
but we are able to take it to the next level. Another aspect that was so interesting was uh, we introduced uh, a session for the teachers who brought them. There were about 40 of them who had their session in a different class and they were so marveled at what, what we exposed them to, 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 to also come to bear with. For the very first time, we involved the teachers and then like because we know the teachers are going to take up from us to teach the kids. So and it was very interesting because most of the teachers they were interested. So there was this uh, collaboration, there was they all pay attention, they are all willing to learn. You could see that interest, you could see the interest in them because of the way they ask questions, the way they want to also add their input to the training program. So most of the teachers were interested because they came with their laptops, we, they installed the, the, the program on their laptop and the question they were asking, we know that they are interested and I think going forward we should continue to involve the teachers because they are going to take it to the kids. We've learned a lot. Myself, as a teacher, I didn't know much about the computer. We were taught how to code things on the computer, right? It has to do with some animations. I used to have computer at home. All I do is to play music, do all sorts of things, watch movies. But as I came today, a lot of animations have been taught and I'm going to utilize it. Once I get to the school, I'm going to teach and utilize, make sure the students will be able to do whatever you've been taught here so that we utilize it in our daily lives. At the beginning, it looked like some had experience with a laptop already. So adjusting to this was not much of a, a trouble, but some had to take some few seconds to get adjusted to it. Some took a bit longer because this was most likely their first time being exposed to a laptop. So they had to take a few minutes to situate themselves and to know how to navigate a laptop. So it varied a little bit, but overall, over a few minutes, everyone was able to get um, a good grasp of how to, how to do what they were being taught. So. I learned that coding is a computer programming. We can use the scratch to tell stories. Today I learned about coding. I know that coding is the instruction given to computer to perform a specific task. I learned how to create a, like, how to create a dog, cat, a human being. I, I added some sound to it, so it to be nice. Today was very good for me. I enjoyed myself. And what they taught out to was very good. If I go, I can teach my colleagues how co uh, what is coding and how to use it. For me, the thing, the icing on the cake, so far as uh, Aguna Suedo is concerned, was that we also had students uh, from uh, the special school of uh, the hearing challenged. And if you see the way they participated in today's coding caravan, it's so heartwarming. Uh, that we were able to bring this facility to them as well. In fact, he's very happy coming or uh, taking part in such an important workshop. Yeah, he's still very happy. The, the program has helped him to improve his skills in ICT. Yeah, he didn't know anything about a uh, computer, uh, but for today he has learned some skills in creating animations using the computer. Whatever I learned here, I'll call my friends and also tell them or educate them on it. Now that this program is over, it is not over. It is the first time that it has come to Aguna West Municipality. Management is going to sit down and see how best we can I mean, send this uh, knowledge gain to other students who couldn't get a chance to participate, most especially those in the hinterland. It's important to know that we've been able to do this coding caravan with a partnership of the Institute of IT Professionals Ghana, and this partnership has been a great one. And our members have always supported it since we did the first one in celebrating our 10th anniversary. So the members of the Ghana Chamber of Telecommunication deserve a lot of uh, uh, you know, uh, gratitude 
We also have had a lot of support with the Minister for Communication and Digitalization. Uh, we did the first one this year in her constituency with her support. Uh, the MP, uh, Madame Cynthia uh, uh, Morrison, also joined us. Uh, we had the MCE come. Um, the district director has been exemplary. His foresight to even make sure that in selecting the schools, we chose a special school is really worth mentioning. And we're grateful to the St. Anthony Parish for giving us their parish hall to be able to use and to do this. And we thank all the teachers who have spent their whole day coming in, you know, apart from being teaching themselves, also coming to teach. And again, I dug my heart out to the teachers from uh, the special school uh, of the death who were here and so that as the, the lessons were doing, they were also uh, signing, doing, using the sign language and they were able to carry these people along. These people also deserve a lot of applause and definitely to the facilitators, to the teachers, to the staff of the chamber who have all been with us, uh, our drivers and everybody who have joined us make this happen.